fill in all of that farming with sand. It just seems like something I don't really want to do. Okay, so this whole thing is filled in with sand now. It's taken me bloody ages. Oh god, here we go. This is not going to work, is it? Please, do not do me like this. Nothing, not one. Not one f***ing guardian. Hallelujah. 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 Look how many there are now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I went into the nether because a creeper destroyed some of this, some of my bacon. I went into the nether, went and grabbed some more iron blocks, came back, and as soon as I came back, they started spawning like freaking crazy, man. I think what's going on is I'm reaching my mob cap. That is what the deal is right here. So all I gotta do is just keep building these freaking modules, build them all the way across, and I'm gonna have a farm going on right here. This is working right here. This sh is fucking working. Now I just need to stop them from doing that, floating in midair, which is what they seem to all be doing, and I'll be good to go. Other than that, I don't care anymore. I just need to make these freaking modules now. Oh my god, I'm fucking ecstatic. And if the worst comes to the worst, I just have to set it on peaceful and then put it back to hard. And that sort of, sort of starts them up again. Because they spawn immediately, man, which means like... Which means these spawning bays are working. God, will I finally have a fully functioning guardian farm? Will I? God, it's so much easier to just do it like this. Right. These things are done. Uh, but they still float a bit, which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm going to need to sort that out in some way, because look, most of them are now floating, which means they're not dropping, which means they're not... The spawn rates are not replenishing, so I'm going to have to deal with that really, because there's not much I can do until that is solved. As soon as they see me, they kind of drop, but still, it's like kind of annoying. They don't appear to um, drop once taking damage either. I assume they would, but they don't. Um, so this is a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure how to solve. Um, I'm sure it's a bug. Um, I'm sure it's a bug, but still, I'd prefer it to be solved. I'd prefer this thing to be completely bug-proof if possible. I am going to build myself some golems, I think, and see if that will solve the situation. Right, so I'm going to pop back through uh, into the nether and back to the base. I'm going to grab some pumpkins. I'm going to build some platforms and just see if I can get these guardians to fall once they've seen a golem. That was like a... Oh, shit! Where did that go? It's right above me, isn't it? Let's take care of this guy. Oh, God, I miss him every time. Oh, good Lord. This was not supposed to happen. Got it. Right, where's the other one? There. Come on. Die, I want to go home. Got it. <clears throat> right, I'm sure there was another one. Wow, there is. There's like a few more of them. They're every freaking where? Right, I don't hear anymore. I think that was it, was it? Shit, looked like it. I can't tell. It's time to get out of here. Right, I have a few ideas. Lava blades. Cactuses and golems, and I really don't know what to do for the best. Um, excuse me while I just grab some bits. Oh god. <laughs> they are absolutely f***ing everywhere. Look at them all bouncing about. That's irritating as f***. Oh god, no, a creeper's on the roof. Right, so let's try this. Where are they, where are they spawning from? What's their line of sight? How many blocks can they see you from? It's like, I can't remember, 12 or 15 or something like that. Let's give it a go then. Um, um, I don't know if this is going to work. I bloody hope so. Okay, let's try this. Uh, how many is it? Three. And then, no. I don't even remember. Sure, it's like that. No. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got me a f***ing guardian now. Guardian? I keep calling him a guardian. I got myself a golem now. And I'm just wondering whether if I put them like at regular intervals across the spawning platforms, whether I can actually force them to look at him and then fall to the ground. 
but that's the theory anyway. Any that's born here ought to hopefully see this guy and like try to attack him and fall to the ground. Please. This is like a proper old school ghetto kind of way of doing it, but I just, if it works, it works. I just want to see. Man, they're all bloody hanging about here. If I can just get them to keep dropping, like the, the terrible rates won't be so bad because they'll just keep falling. It seems to be all right, actually. It seems to work, like, apart from the ones at the site. So I think I'm going to have to build them like literally everywhere. Ah, that guy's right next to him and he's, he's not falling. But it hasn't exactly worked as I'd hoped. Now they fall. They want me. They don't want the golem. They don't care about the goddamn golem. Ah, the golem isn't helping, is it? Ah! I don't see it. There it is. Oh, sh Sugar tits. That was not good. Did I survive a jump from here? No, obviously not. That ain't good. This is just not going well for me now. I'm thinking maybe to dig this down deeper. This is not supposed to happen, you know, like this is not supposed to be like this. They're not supposed to float in midair. I'm thinking the lava blade, but even when they get hurt, they don't fall. That's the thing, like, it's like they have to see something to fall. All right, let's try it, let's try it. Golem plan, take two, I guess. But will he spawn on a one wide platform? Will he just fall to the ground? I don't know, well, let's see. He's good. He's good. Oh, God, they've all fallen. Ah. Oh. Right, <laughs> that was a bad idea, wasn't it? I just noticed that my pumpkins are, are glitched. I got six. I had six, and I've still got six. Ha! Well, the update has led to an interesting change. Well, they're definitely infinite pumpkins. Definitely. Because one of the changes in the update aquatic was um, faceless pumpkins. So I'm guessing... There's a bug. <laughs> a bug that worked in my favour for a change. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I've got to stop those bloody guardians from floating like that. Right, so you might be wondering what the hell is going on. Um, well, I kind of have no choice but to do this now. Um, which is build this stupid bloody platform. So that I can walk about and get them to fall. Why do they fly like that? It's so bloody annoying. And do your job and attack these stupid things. This wasn't how I envisioned my guardian farm, <laughs> like at all. Like this was not my idea of a cool looking guardian farm. I'm going to now have a little look at possibly doing the XP grinder. I'm gonna have problems trying to get, you know, guardians flowing down into an AFK, into a XP area without golems also doing the same, but they're like three blocks high. So I re I'm pretty sure I can build this like trench too deep. Those guardians will fall in it and get filtered off over to where I want them filtered off to. And um, the guardian shouldn't be able to fall through the gap. So that's the plan, that's the hope. <laughs> Look at all these drops that I'm like not picking up. <laughs> this is not ideal at all, is it? All right then, Sunny. So if you don't know what I'm doing, I'll explain to you real quick. Right, so I'm building these slabs here so that I can run mine carts underneath them that will collect the drops. And I'm just trying to decide on what pattern to have. They will pick up through half slabs, if you didn't know that. Mine carts with hoppers, that is, by the way, I'm talking about. Yeah, so it looked like that. That'll look pretty nice, I reckon. You guys reckon? I hope you guys think the same. This is gonna look shit hot, man. I built in the XP toggle here, and there's a couple of problems with this as well. A bug or two. Let's just turn it on and show you what the problem is. Show you what the the point is, and then what's the problem. Um, so we've just turned it on now to XP mode, and as you can see, because there's such a big area here to cover. The water doesn't like it, the dispensers don't like it, the redstone doesn't like it. Um, it just about filled in there, but I haven't got all of them going, which is odd. That doesn't usually happen, but it's happened now. Um, those, guys, those ones have kicked in, which is cool. Um, I haven't actually tested this properly yet, and I can see that they're swimming against the current, so... Yes, ineffective. Extremely ineffective. So XP mode on this thing is currently messed up. So this is annoying because 
It makes this farm very like hard to work with. Ah! Like, they don't at all. They just swim against the current. What happens if I go down here? Do they follow me? There's a salmon or two. <laughs> it just occurred to me that I'm in water now and I can't actually... I'm not going to be able to get out of here. This is going to be like an XP salmon thing. <laughs> well. Oh, that one's gone down there. They swim against the current. Like, they just don't... They just don't want to behave themselves at all, do they? They just want to do anything that they can to, like mess up my contraptions. I've got ice down there in the middle, packed ice, so once they do go down there, they will um, go pretty quickly. Oh, have they all gone down? Don't tell me they've all gone down. They have. Ah, so they do. It does work, it's just slow. Okay, that's all right. We can work with slow, but I think that's cap. I think that's mob cap. I don't think I've gotten those guardians far enough away from the temple to be able to spawn anymore so I need to get them right out of this area so obviously that needs sorting out what I actually want to do what is my priority is the minecarts the minecart and rails that is going to pick up all the drops let's just have a look at how this works when it turns off and see how it reacts because it doesn't like it at all does it wow this is the worst one yet okay we have an infinite source just marvelous okay Houston, we have a f***ing problem. Um, so bear with me while I go and fix that. This is just irritating, to say the least. Right, so at some point, I'll funnel them all the way down here. I'll funnel them straight out of the temple and um, somewhere towards an XP grinder somewhere at the back here. But anyway, we're not concerned with these fucking guardians at this moment in time. I have done a test. Don't think I've come in blind, because I absolutely haven't. I'm having a minecart and rail on every line here. Ah, oh, shh. I just realized I'm gonna have a problem. Ugh, my golems. I'll have to kill them all and start again. It's my fucking stupid fault for putting the golems there when I'm not ready to fire this thing up, but what you gonna do? Right, so let's start laying down this track then. Um, it'll be a weird contrast, but it'll be all right. I don't know why I'm using redstone blocks. I could just use redstone torches, but I just can't be bothered. I got a lot of redstone blocks for some reason. That looks horrible, doesn't it? Wow, I'm gonna go through redstone blocks real quick. Good job I got loads. Actually, I don't have that many. <laughs> Considering I have to do this on every one. That's quite a lot of redstone blocks. Wow, I don't have enough redstone blocks at all. Um, I should lay the, all of these rails out and adjust it in a minute. We really need a lot of resources for this, like a whole load. I have bunches though, so we're all good. And I just like wasting them, as you can see. Wasting resources is fun. Real fun. Right, so I need to figure out what I've got to do here because I've got to connect all these lines up to hoppers. Um, and then I've got to come up with a clock system that's going to time these carts and let them stop here. Which is going to be real f***ing difficult. Well, the wall is here, so they cannot stop here. They're going to have to go on. They're going to have to carry on for a, for a couple blocks at least. I reckon we're going to have to get past here. Just get that redstone line out of the way. I shan't make you guys watch this, so I'm going to clear this wall out, clear this space out. And check back with you guys once I've done that. Okay, so I got this thing up and running-ish. It's on a bit of a clock here, a slow clock. Uh, it's perfect. Just perfect timing. It took me a while to figure out exactly how it was going to work, but this seems to be fine. This seems to be working cool. So um, hopefully I just emulate what I've just done there over all of these modules. Link them all up with hoppers and into my sorting system. Um, I say that like it's going to be really easy, but this actually took a long time um, and a lot of resources, um, especially redstone blocks. I can't be dealing with um, redstone torches, so we're using redstone blocks. I like the look of them as well. I don't know why. What I'm going to do here is just link all of these hoppers to one hopper, do that on all of them, and then I'll link all these hoppers up because Oh, it's going to take a lot of hoppers, um, a lot of iron, 
a lot of time. I think I'm going to build all of these rail minecart thingies um, to collect all of the stuff and I'll give you a progress update when that stuff's done. Right guys, so I've got my tracks in, I've got my hopper minecarts running, um, I've got my hopper system in. Um, these tracks are on clocks, um, quite specifically time clocks as well. Um, where they can where they can pretty much get to the end and back and just as they get back here um, the rails shut off allow them to empty out the contents into those hoppers down there and then carry on on their merry way sometimes um, they're, they're like a tick or half a tick out so sometimes like it builds up to a point where they get to these powered rails and they're already activated um, sometimes that happens but it's not a problem they sort of self-regulate and so by the time they go up and back again um, th they'll be um, back in sync so it's all cool it's all working um, this is the area that we're going to have our sorting system I'm going to bring another line of hoppers down underneath these hoppers to sort of meet in the middle here and over here to our sorting system and then from this sorting system um, I'm going to link it up to dispensers which are going to spit out the items into a water elevator which will take them up and into our storage system which is going to be on the surface somewhere about where the nether portal is so that nether portal is going to have to be moved back quite considerably um, but that's pretty much all of the maintenance we need to be doing um, I'm going to get on with the sorting system now so I need a whole bunch of crap I feel I'm going to need to go back to base because I don't think I've quite got what I need oh yes I need some prismarine blocks oh, I didn't bring a freaking shulker I should have bought a freaking shulker box why didn't I bring a shulker right a lot of fireworks take that out that was a failed experiment it feels like a long time since I've been anywhere near this base so I reckon I'm going to be moving my nether portal back to somewhere here it's going to end up somewhere there somewhere in the middle of that cave somewhere i don't really know where it will end up but i'm gonna to have to push it back about 10 15 blocks like if i push this back you know 10 blocks it's going to be like 70 blocks something oh, they're frozen that was laggy <laughs> that was some laggy shit, man. Weird. <laughs> Whatever. I need droppers, not dispensers. Don't know. I do need dispensers, but I also need droppers. Right. Storage system, ahoy. Right, let me have a look. I drew a diagram in my spare time the other day, so um, I'm going to have a quick look at it. I want to make sure that my water elevators are going to be nice and equal and right in the dead centre of the complex. Which is very important that I put the um, droppers and the input chest in the right place. I'm needing to have a sorting system for prismarine shards, for prismarine crystals. I'm going to need a separate sorting system for fish. I'm going to need another one for slime blocks because slimes are going to fall into this thing. Um, well, I suppose I better get on and build this thing. Um, and I suppose trial and error is going to be the f***ing game of the day. So let's just do it. Okie dokie. Um, uh, yeah, that looks about right. Um, that looks perfect. Hmm. Is it in the right place? That will do. Right, now hoppers. Hoppers, 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 hoppers. That's all we need to do for the sorting system, I believe. Um, so let's just clean this up a little bit. I want dispensers. This is not going to work. Oh Lord, this isn't gonna work. If I had, where would the dispenser need to be? For... It would have to be on this level, wouldn't it? Hmm, I have a horrible feeling this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I had first thought. And then this one will come out. How many blocks? Um, oh God, 
what that's dodgy and I'd have room for another one now. Okay, one, two, three, and one forward. It should be there then. Right, so let's find out if this is actually gonna work. If this works, people, I'll be happy. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna scream. And watch this filling up and hopefully, once it reaches, oh God, it's gonna be painfully slow. Once that's all full up, it should just, it should be dropping down. When it just gets to the top, it's just gonna clog up, isn't it? Right, it's still feeling that through. I have a horrible feeling that it isn't gonna end up here, like it should do, and it's gonna end up in the bin. Yep. Okay, I f***ed this whole thing up. Excuse me, people. I'm gonna have to um, figure this out and come back to you. Okay, so I think I know what I did wrong. Uh, I put the bloody com I put the repeaters in the wrong way. So I put them um, facing out instead of facing in. So that should do it, and I hope it has. Um, so let's take some shards and try this out. Um, let's put 18 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right, that's 18. Put another one through, it should drop through. Yes, it does. <sighs> Oh, cool. Right, we're good. Right, so we're all good. Um, let's just try... Oh, I have got some more shards and stuff. Let's just try that and just make sure that they're going through nicely. And fish, let's chuck all that in. Okay, come on. I'm ready for you. Right, so we've got some shards coming in there. We should have some crystals coming in there once the shards are finished. Right, that's stopped. Right, so we should have some shards coming in here. Crystals. That's it, and the fish will come. Right, so that, people is a working system. So now all I've got to do is extend this up through the ceiling and out um, into uh, into the ocean. Um, so that is, um, I'm really happy about that. Uh, okay. <laughs>